so TAs you can get very easily. I did a TA myself for uh, the course of molecular thermodynamics, and you earn really nicely. You earn fifteen euros a fifteen fifteen euros an hour, and uh, uh, it's very easy to get a TA. RA is not possible, unfortunately, but it's very easy to get a TA. All you need to do is convince the uh, convince the uh, supervisor that you are interested in the course. There are some professors who look also at your grades. Like grades is an important thing. Like if you score a six in your course, uh, then I don't think uh, it will be easy to convince the professor that you want to do a TA because you yourself are not sure whether you know the entire course or not. So getting a good grade in the course that you want to do a TA in is also slightly important. However, that being said, there are a couple of people who don't even look at the grades. They just want someone to help them over their course and they just accept the people who uh, email them uh, e- immediately so you can see that and regarding campus jobs you cannot do a campus job uh, while you are while you are uh, studying because over here the visa clearly tells you that you are here for a student studying for a program and it's not advisable for you to work so all you can do is put in 10 hours of Ten hours of uh, work per week. That's all you can do along with your studying. Scholarship no. opportunities uh, are uh, like if you you should apply early. There are a couple of scholarships that are uh, that you can get, but they are very uh, awarded to only a few people. But you need to be one of the earlier applicants for getting those scholarships. And uh, initial expenses that one has to be prepared for is the course fees. You have to pay the entire amount of course fees. At my time, it was fifteen thousand euros for the entire course of first year. Right now, it's gonna be eighteen thousand euros. So you have to pay that eighteen thousand euros upfront. Along with that, they ask you to uh, pay another ten thousand euros to satisfactorily guarantee the fact that you have enough money for your accommodation in Delft. So they take ten thousand euros from you, and once you come over here, uh, the university opens up a bank account for you in one of the banks which they have collaborated with, and they give back the ten thousand euros. So you have ten thousand euros, uh, which you can spend over the entire year. Uh, roughly, you don't need ten thousand euros. You spend around eight thousand euros, including rent, uh, then uh, uh, your insurance, and uh, monthly spendings of uh, whatever you have. 